very glad to have you here, Professor Williams, and I invite you to please come here and deliver your lecture. Um, about myself, it was a, a fantastic introduction, so I probably don't need to add very much more, but you might be wondering why my interest in public relations. Um, and I started my career in public relations, so I worked in public relations and advertising for 10 years before I went into education, and I've been in education now for 20 years. So I've retained my interest in public relations, and in particular, the role of women in public relations. Um, so just to give you some background, in the United Kingdom, public relations is about 65% female dominated as a profession, um, and about 35% male. However, when it comes to the leadership of public relations organizations, it's the other way around. So it's 65% male and 35 through today with you. Um, so I'm going to look a little bit at women in leadership and how women in leadership think differently um, and how we can make successful run of the presentation, but we'll just go straight into it. Thanks, Ellie. So there's a couple of key factors that we need to bear in mind when we think about women in leadership. And we cannot divorce the idea of women in leadership from women in society. So societal constructs, social leadership styles, they will also influence the way in which we are perceived as women leaders. What's so I'm thinking. Um, but actually, I think there are two key things to take away from gender differences in management. And the first is really the very, very dominant um, management styles of, of male leaders. So they, it's important for male leaders to come across as strong, as decisive, and um, as having an ability to control the environment they look after. The flip side to that, the women's um, dominant style tends to be empathetic. It's more important for women leaders, we see more, much more in women, women leaders, this need to build teams, to be collaborative, and to work together. So you can see two very distinct styles of management coming out when we look at gender difference. And I just wanted to highlight some um, from women leaders in Pakistan. Uh, to see the influence that women can have in, in areas of, of importance. Um, Benazir Bhutto, you will all be aware of. I don't need to tell you about Benazir Bhutto's leadership, but I did want to raise it because she was an important figure internationally as well, and you may not know that. But from an international perspective, she was very much respected as being not only the first woman Prime Minister of Pakistan, but actually inspirational for women all across the world. She represented um, the first woman to actually show us what it meant to achieve high, high office um, in politics in any country, and I include my own in that. The first woman to establish a TV channel in Asia, um, and genuinely a humble and wonderful woman. She is during the pandemic, but also during the bombings of mosques in New Zealand, where she 